Detroit stands for industry, but Detroit is more than that. In the mid-80s, various Detroit radio stations and clubs spread a new electronic sound. Matthew, Richie's younger brother, is a regular listener of these trendy radio shows and makes his brother aware of this. The show of Jeff Mills, a.k.a. The Wizard, fascinates the two especially. Jeff and those guys were playing a real mix. It was a perfect way to get someone like me deeper into you know, techno and house music because they played a mix of early hip hop and alternative, industrial. They were playing Yellow, they were playing Front 242 and Nitzareb, all this stuff mixed together with Chicago Acid House and Detroit techno. And maybe without that kind of connection to industrial, I wouldn't have been brought in. But that was, that was kind of the doorway. That was kind of what sucked me in first. Inspired by these new musical developments in Detroit, his interest in electronic music grows. He buys his first records. It is in a teeny bar in Windsor called Hoppers that Richie organizes a party on which he takes his first steps in DJing. The club was completely dead all the time. They were like, okay, if you really think you can get your friends here, then you have a job. And it was really that simple. We walked in, you know, and one hour later I walked out with my DJ job. Now, the important thing, I think, for Hoppers and, and for those times was it put me in front of a crowd and got me, you know, a little bit more into the idea of, of DJing. You know, that was when I think it really, the, the bug bit me. I was like, hey, this is really cool. The best thing about the Hoppers was that, you know, I talked the management into giving me enough money to book Jeff Mills. So I became the promoter. We talked to Jeff, we talked to his, his manager, and we actually brought Jeff over to Hoppers to play, maybe to like 100, 200 people. This was, for me, like an amazing moment because we had, you know, I'd never met Jeff. We'd only heard these mixes for like a year or something. And to see him playing in front of us, you know, we were just all in the booth just watching him. You know, it's, it's like, I don't know how, if he had any fun. I don't know if anyone was dancing. We were just like watching and watching. And he was like playing so fast, throwing his records everywhere. And he was playing all the records that I had listened to for the last year. And he was like, choo, choo, choo. and we were sitting in the back helping him sort his records and just copying all the records names down. And finally I was like, ah, oh, that's what that is. That what, and then went to the record store the next day. I need to buy these records. And uh, it was unbelievable. Richie is hooked. With the same enthusiasm and ambition that he put into computers and technology before, he now follows his new goal, to become a DJ. Shortly after the party with Jeff Mills, he meets his great idol for the first time, Derek May. The first time I met Richie was hilarious. 